from you. I just came to say thank you. Just because I peeped that he been good and I'm grateful. I ain't had no sleep because I've been getting to the paper. I've been going in with this gift that he gave me. But I still get weary at times. But he my lifeline. And I don't worry no more. He said I'd be fine. I be in my head too much. That cause a fuss. And if I'ma do that, then what good does it do to trust him? I'm only human, so I still fall short. And then he still forgive me. I don't get that part. And then he said all I need was faith the size of a seed and that he would give me love and life abundantly. And it's truly okay after all. I mean, he do his big one even when I'm thinking small. Like, protect my mind and guide my soul. <laughs> I need him with me everywhere I go. And more opportunities coming. And I'm with that. But if them not come from you, missing the nut back. And he make it last when he puts me first. And whom job bless, no man curse. What's up, y'all? Today is Saturday. So for the last couple days, I have been feeling, ugh, like, I'm talking about as far as my body. Just moving around feels disgusting. And I may be exaggerating a little bit, but I'm sure some of y'all can relate. Me sitting down right now, it just always feels like my stomach is in the way. And I don't like that. Um... I don't like this feeling. I'm pretty sure no one does, but you know, we're human. We get comfortable and we just let food and laziness take over. And I know I have, and y'all know I do all the time. If you have been following me for the last seven years, I've been sharing my life with you guys. Um, I don't know y'all. I'm tired of getting on here in front of y'all because I know y'all take me as a joke right now at this point. I'm tired of getting on here saying, oh, I'm about to do this. I'm about to change this and that. And sometimes I do, but I'm never consistent with it. And at this point, I'm tired of talking about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of coming on here in front of y'all talking about it. And it got me emotional earlier this morning because... You know, I want to set an example for people who watch this me. And I want to inspire y'all in more ways than one. And weight for a lot of us is a, a big deal. Weight plays a big factor in the way we physically look. You know, health is the top reason, right? You know, it's all good and dandy to look a certain way. I just eyebrow darker than the other. It's because you eat right and exercise, you know, you're going to be healthy because there's a lot of people who eat right and exercise and got something going on, but it will lower your chances of getting some, developing some kind of disease or, you know, anything like that. So thank God I don't have anything going on. Get, and I think that's why I get so comfortable and I, I don't have any problems that I know of because it could be some underlining issues and, and sometimes these doctors don't even be doctoring <laughs> like they supposed to be doing. Speaking of that, it was a YouTuber on here by the name of Jessica Petway who just recently died of cervical cancer and it was misdiagnosed. They told her, the doctors told her that she had fibroids. Now, I was sh kind of shocked because I've been following Jessica since the beginning of the YouTube days. She was one of the first YouTubers that I used to watch and follow about eight, nine, ten years ago. And I say it's a shock to me because, you know, it's like someone that you knew or <laughs> grew up watching. So it kind of hit different. So I'm scrolling on YouTube, a video and my recommended came up and was like, our, our rest in peace, Jessica Petway. Now, obviously I instantly knew who she was and I clicked into it and I'm like, wow. Now I do remember her because I follow her on Instagram, but I'm not on Instagram like that. But I do remember her last year or maybe a, maybe a year or two ago sharing that, you know, she was sick or whatever. And I believe I started following her because she did natural hair videos. Now she did other stuff too. She did wigs and fashion beautiful young lady had two beautiful kids and a husband and i remember when her oldest daughter was a baby that's when i was watching her and it's uh, so sad but yeah i'm about to get out here and walk i'm making naya come with me and she is not happy
<laughs> she is not happy. Um, Cleveland said he's going to come with me as well because I, I came to him and I this morning I'm like, babe, I stepped on the scale this morning and I was, it said 210 pounds. He said, okay. Like, what do you mean? Okay. <laughs> it's not okay. Oh, I was watching this short. I'm gonna pop it in here. Now, even though it might be nice to have thinner subcutaneous fat so that you could see those muscles more clearly, that doesn't mean we shouldn't mention visceral fat. Visceral means pertaining to internal organs. So this would be the fat surrounding the organs. Here's the abdominal cavity. Up here's the thoracic cavity where you'd find the heart and lungs. Now this particular body or this dissection is actually a little bit more tricky to make out specific structures and organs. And that's because it has such a buildup of this visceral fat. Like look how thick and fatty this greater omentum is. You can see these thicker fatty appendages coming off the intestine and that buildup of visceral fat in between. What's even more remarkable is the amount of visceral fat around the heart. Yes, the heart is inside here. You couldn't even see the person's heart. And I'm just wondering, like, cause I know I got a lot of visceral fat going on. Maybe not as much as that person, uh, but I know it's a lot going on in there and I, I, I can't, you know, God give us this perfect body and we're just sitting here destroying it, <laughs> just destroyed it. I'm like, shoot, it ain't going to be no room for the Holy Spirit. And I want the Holy Spirit to reside in me. <laughs> So, I'm gonna put a hat on. I ain't about to do nothing to my head. I used my cucumber face wash this morning, and the the smell, the fragrance is so divine. And I also used the cucumber oil. Anyway, let's get up out of here. Let me find some shoes to put on. This is what I got on now. something to my hair probably just put it in a ponytail I'm about to use some of my hair butter and then uh, yeah just put it in a ponytail probably won't retwist it until we get back from our cruise use my hair butter and I always use my hair butter with my first install it didn't cause any buildup or anything it's very moisturizing and but yeah, I'm just going to put it up in a ponytail. Huh? What, Pooh? What in my room. Oh, I thought you, I said, you heard me. I said, what, Pooh? I thought you sounded like Naya. Huh? I just found this. Oh, okay. Well, you good then. Deja want me to do her hair. I ain't doing it today, though. I need to do Naya, so she should be in there taking hers out right now i usually leave some down in the back but i think i just want to rock it all up in a ponytail because i think every hairstyle that i worn with them up some was down so um okay i think i'm gonna just leave it like this but i gotta spray it <laughs> oh i ain't got that much in here um let me see i'll use this this can too but i just need some moisture to get these uh, what else does want to do his own thing? The <laughs> mug was sticking straight up. I receive your healing, Lord. I receive your healing, Jesus. Y'all, I'm going to read y'all the lyrics to this song. The song I was just singing. Um, I was listening to it while I was walking. It's one of my favorite songs by Byron Cage. You know, unfortunately, I can't 
play the song here on YouTube, but I can read the lyrics. It may help someone today. I'm broken, but I'm healed. You got to put your um, passport stuff in there. Terms and document. Yeah, you got to enter your passport information. Yeah, you got to scan your passport. Let's see. Complete and upload. Oh, then you we got to see what that stuff is. So you got to do that first because that's locked. So you know what? You got your passport or do we got it? Oh, yeah, it's probably in his drawer. By Byron Cage, Broken, But I'm Healed. And another one of my favorite songs from him is um, called Breathe. This is the air I breathe. I can't sing, but... God don't care about that. He just wants you to worship him. <laughs> you don't care if you can sing or not. Okay, so this is the full lyrics. Let me hurry up because this my battery about to die. It's going to be hard for me to just read it and not sing it. But I'll try my best. It says, so you enter into this building. You brought your burdens. You brought your pain. I have a message for you today that when you leave here, you won't be the same. So you tell me you've been to your physician. Look at you. There's been no change in your condition. Reach out and touch the master's throne. There's healing in your mind, your body, and your soul. God can heal. He can deliver. He can mend your brokenness. He has a miracle to fit your needs. Once you trust him, you will receive. God knows your situation. But with every test and every trial, there is revelation that God is able to supply every one of your needs. He's here to touch you, heal you, he'll set you free. Oh, it's just, it's just bringing chills to my body. God can heal, he can deliver, he can mend your brokenness. He has a miracle to fit your needs. Once you trust him, you will receive. So by the time you leave this building, my prayer for everyone in here is that you that you will have your healing. Once God works a miracle to... Okay, the battery had died. So by the time you leave this building, my prayer is that everyone in here is that you'll have your healing. Once God works a miracle to fit your need, go tell the world what you have received. God has healed. He has delivered. He has mended my brokenness. Give me a miracle to fit my need. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. I have received. I don't want to pile a bunch of. I'm going to use some gel. Because I don't want to pile. Oh, I don't have no gel. What is going on? I have no gel, y'all. Darn it. Because I don't want to pile a whole bunch of um, edge control. But I'm about to go ahead and put it on. I just want to tame it a little bit. Especially up here in the front. You see all of that? I could be like Naya with the, with the bangs. <laughs> Basically, because at this point, that's what they are. Just lightly brush it, because this brush is hard. Put some in the back. Well, yeah, I'm going to need to get some gel. And to be honest, I might have some. That dog on Naya probably got it. Nah, because Naya always use, um, got to be glued. And I don't want to use that on my hair. Maybe for my edges, but... Not to put on my whole head. I don't know, y'all. So we'll see how this holds up. But I will prefer some gel. You know we got to do some swoops. You know I do. Put a little bit. We can be. Ain't going nowhere. Oh, y'all, I did a thing. <laughs> I did another thing. I purchased some more 
items from the denim collection. Okay, let me stop messing with my hair now. I'm just trying to pull them. Because, you know, sometimes you got to pull them. I'm going to show y'all what I picked up in a minute. And, oh, and someone asked about my earrings. These are some Coach earrings that I picked up from Nordsch Nordstrom's. And this is what they look like. Just See, you got like the C's on it. I also purchased the this necklace from Nordstrom's. They did have the bracelet, but I didn't purchase it. I was watching a YouTuber by the name of Lily. Lily, yours truly. Is that the channel? I know she has two channels. But anyway, she went to uh, TJ Maxx. She was looking for a Gucci bracelet, I think, that she seen on TikTok or something like that. Or was it inspired by a Gucci bracelet? I can't even remember. She found it. But she also showed that they had the bracelet. TJ Maxx had the bracelet that matches this. So I was like, I'm going to go one day <laughs> and see if my TJ Maxx has it. All right, so come on to my little corner and let's see what I got. So when I call y'all and I'm over here in my little corner, you better answer. I'm trying to show y'all what I picked up. So um, Coach and this denim collection got me in a chokehold right now. So I purchased two pieces from Dillard's and I purchased some sandals from Macy's. So from Dillard's, I purchased the wallet. It's just so cute. Y'all know I purchased the card holder, the denim card holder, but I had to have this too in my collection. This is so freaking cute. Like, look at that. It's so cute, y'all. It's so cute. So I got that. And then I purchased the Cassie 19. This is so freaking cute. And it's functional. It's practical. It's functional. I put my camera. I put my phone. I put my um, pocket three and my other essentials in here. And it fits perfectly. So, yes. This is so freaking cute. The only thing I don't like is that it has this thin strap. But you can carry this bag in three different ways you can carry it like this you can carry it of course crossbody and you can also carry it like this on the shoulder but you know I'm not a shoulder bag not my style I'm pretty sure y'all seen this bag all over the internet as well if you into handbags if you watch handbag videos but yeah it has three different compartments this big compartment here and then it has this compartment which my phone fits in all three a compartment back there and this compartment is really big and spacious right here and then you have this on the back around valentine's day they came out with the red one with the heart chain so cute I was tempted to purchase it numerous of times. I just didn't pull the trigger on it. Might go ahead and purchase it, but I'm gonna carry this first to get the feel of it and you know, to see if it's something that I would reach for all the time. Now, I love red bags because I throw on some all black, which I wear all the time, and then boom, had a little pop of red. And then I purchased some shoes, some sandals. When I seen them, I just had to. I just could not <laughs> leave these in the store. I, I couldn't look at these these are so freaking cute not only are they cute they are super super duper comfortable I made sure that these was gonna work for me I walked around them walked around in them around the house in them for about 30 minutes and when I tell you they're so light it just feels like you walking on a cloud I, I love them and I loved them so much I went back ordered two more in a different color, of course. I ordered the all black ones and I ordered the raffia pair. Now, I know, I know, I know. I do have a raffia pair of sandals that I haven't worn yet. I haven't even had a chance to wear them, to be honest, because it's been kind of chilly here in Florida since I purchased these. But these are really nice. They're really nice. Now, did I need to purchase the coach ones? I did not. You know, I have a problem. So I purchased them. 
There's nothing wrong with these, but I don't even have nothing after the butt. I can't even come up with nothing. Like I said, you know I got a problem. Wait, no, I can't say this. These are much more comfortable. These are comfortable, but these are much more comfortable. Will y'all take that? <laughs> but honestly, these are much more comfortable. So obviously I cannot take these back because I didn't throw away the box and everything. And I'm pretty sure it's been over a month. But I'm going to see if Naya wants them. And I'm going to also see if she wants these as well. Okay, I lied. I'm about to do my hair. And <laughs> I know y'all like this girl. As I was eating my salad, a YouTube video popped up and I recommend it. The, I don't know what you call the actual hairstyle where you twist two locks together and you like, you know, make it into a bob, make it shorter, wrap it around at the end, make it shorter. I did Naya's hair like that one time. It wasn't a bob though. I think she had a ponytail and I forgot what they was calling the ponytail. I'm gonna do a little bit on camera for you guys. Not the back though, cause I'm gonna go in my bathroom. You know, I have that um, mirror, that three-way mirror that hangs on the door. Well, that's, I usually hang it in my bathroom. And I'm gonna come back in here once I get to the front and show y'all. Um, I hope it comes, first of all, I hope I look right with a bob. Like, I don't know how I'm going to look with a bob. I thought she was in there asleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, she didn't took it off. She wasn't playing. Oh, so do you want uh, faux locks? Wait, what does that look like? Does that feel like the soft locks like that? Yeah. Well, Deja got some hair, but I don't know if it's enough to do both of their hair. But she sent me a picture because she asked me, you going to do my hair before Japan? And I'm like, what style? So this is the style that she wants. Mm. You know? Naya just really like braids. Naya like, give me some braids and I'm good. Because that's what she asked me for. <laughs> she said, when, if I, when I take these out, can you throw some more braids in my hair? Just uh, box braids. Mm. You taking too long. But this is what Deja wants her hair like. Just, you know, the soft yeah, light. Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> Somebody, is there a soul in there? What's going on? Um, but let me show y'all the, the video that popped up in my recommended. Because this is what I'm about to do. Like a little bob. Like, this is so cute. Hold on. See how long her locks is? But... You doing a knot thing? Yeah, I'm gonna see how that looks on me. Like that is so cute. I Just like that. a vibe. I know it's cute on her, but I don't know how it's gonna look on me. That's so cute. Like I had to. She got a lot of lock tutorials on her channel. I had to subscribe. Yeah, that's her channel name. Hers came out super cute as well. So that's how she started out. Keeping up with China. It was about five minutes ago When I seen the hottest chick that a young and never seen before I say yo, tell the girls I wanna be up On second time that ain't the way to go I gotta do a game proper Spit it so she get it, then she is, I gotta stop her Or should I talk about a smile? Or what about a style? I'm out of time, she's out the door, I gotta go for mine Or should I talk about a smile?
we about to pop in this Walmart real quick and get Chanel a bowl, like a water bowl, food bowl. Cause she's gonna be spending about a week with Naya. I mean, Yana. <laughs> this is too small. So I guess I just get two of these. Oh no, yeah, this is cool. For 288. <laughs> Yep. Look at twinsies. <laughs> twinsies. lighting right here and this ain't never you ain't never had that on have you what had this on this yeah. oh yeah oh yeah we was gonna drop her off tomorrow yeah and she asked for today so I'm like, sure. <laughs> Fine with me. I'll have little Bubba a day early. Don't get here. Please, please, please. Oh, okay. so little bit. Come the bad play these games. Yeah. Me too. Mm -hmm. I think you're playing The Last of Us. <laughs> I'm playing Resident Evil 5. That game is insane. Right? That joke is so like. <laughs> yeah, that's our game. That Resident Evil so 5. Oh, you're talking about like the controls and yeah, stuff? But back then, cool. we really didn't that's notice it. Oh, these are cute. The little ones. Yeah. They should brought her steam okay. deck. Are your hands clean before you get to touching? Because I need to wash my hands too. <laughs> I yeah, I just washed mine because I just came clean. from Walmart. Now, you don't forget your headphones. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Naya. <laughs> That's messing with Naya. She looking at the refrigerator. I don't think you ain't eat nothing when you came home from school? No. Oh. Little girl, come check this. <laughs> Wait, come check this. What happened to my... You have her own little blanket? I'm on the floor. You about to play Resident Evil? Babe, wait. You forgot this was my game? <laughs> this, no, this no, no, is, no, 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 but I played it Mama too. played it the most. Yep. Mama and Dad, I played it the most. Especially Mama. Then okay. We played it the most. Yeah, me and Yana. Don't be putting me right. down. You came in. Right, right. somewhere. Yeah. She what? came in somewhere. This is my day. Okay, don't be lying on camera. <laughs> this is my game. Yeah, you used to play no. it too, but I remember being what? This is my game. Yeah. <laughs> History. <laughs> but see, you was the youngest, so you might have not have been. I knew up. everything from this joke. <laughs> yeah, but like, I mean, it was only two players, so. Yeah. I would play with you, and then Jay would try to take over because y'all said I suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what really happened. He'll take over. I don't even know if you could. Well, I don't know if I continually mess up what I'm doing, but I'm on this part. That part? Oh. I remember that game. Oh my god, yeah. Everything is. Yes. I played that pretty recently. Like, I know where all the jewelry. So so I like, always for Sheva. Right, Sheva. Okay, cut that out. Little bestie, try to But yeah, I don't know if I should start this because I don't want to mess up. I don't know if it's going to mess up. Mess up what? The screen is so. Why are you crying, little baby? So nice. Go to any other game but that. So, let me get this straight. I used to be a gamer. 
Okay. Big the girly time. pop got a job. The girly pop be busy. <laughs> and games suck now. What? Exactly. Expensive. Okay. Yeah. You're not woke. And I play like the same. She games. said you're not woke. No, they do. No, for real, they do. Yeah, they like the games suck. back then. This little number. Ooh. See that one. Gotta that do, it. Ooh. What? What? Gotta do it. Right. The left for dead. That oh yeah. Whoa. That was our game. This was the game. Like going to that game stop. Right. Oh wow. The memories. Okay, wait, hold on. So that's what? Good. Let me Thirsty. quit this. Wait. Welcome to GameStop. <laughs> <laughs> right, quite literally. Now you Wait, it's Dookie in the fitting room. Yes. It's um, 8.30, we're at Target, or about to go on Target right now, and then we're going to head over to TJ Maxx, and then we'll be headed home. <laughs> what is going on, kids? It's windy and cold out here. Don't mind me. I look a mess. Hair look a mess. It's crazy. I ain't got no line rides on. I ain't do nothing today, but pack orders. Then I did Deja's hair, so I packed orders for a couple hours, probably about five hours. I packed orders and then came back home. This thing was waiting on me. Did her hair. Soon as I, we got done with her hair, we left right out <laughs> to go drop Chanel off at uh, Yana's house. So I've been on the move. I ain't been able to sit down today. But it's too little for night. Now you don't even wear hats, but it's uh, kids. It's uh, only five dollars. I got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Star Wars. Okay, let's go. What we came in here for? What we come yeah, in here for? <laughs> right. Why are we here? <laughs> Do you need to get some? Um, is this a dress or a cover up? Oh, this is cute. I like that. It's cute. Um, let's look at the graphic tees real quick. Y'all, I bought this one yesterday. So it says self love club, happy, unbothered, disciplined, loved, real. Yeah, <laughs> I'm showing them. Uh, loved, real, not perfect, glowing. This is so me. Uh huh. I bought this shirt yesterday and I bought this one for Naya. What do you got, little girl? Like, you always. Oh, sure. She talking about pants for school. She gonna try to. The, uh, why would else would I get this color? Nah. What side you gotta try that on, little girl? Cause that don't look like those stretch. Do they? It say extra, extra. Extra, extra. That might be too. That, that, no. No, just say. Nah, yeah, them are too big. Is. Did they give you, uh, like school supply list or something? All right, y'all. We still up in Target looking stupid. Um, I'm trying to make it over to TJ Maxx before it closes. It, it, it closes at 9.30. It is 
But I wanted to get Naya this, but I don't see another one. This right here. It's called The Story of My Life. If the story is in you, it has to come out. Just name an object from your childhood that you still own. What is the story behind it and why you kept it? Using as many smells, colors, textures as you can remember. Describe your childhood kitchen. See, what what would smell? Smells. What does the, the, the kitchen smell like? Spaghetti. I don't know. Chicken and rice? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I thought that was the Chicken first thing you was going to say. Naya, come, did you hear me? If you could describe <sighs> the kitchen back in the day when you was little, like the smell, what would you say? Just, Just think of the food. She was too little. Next. She know? What? What did I cook all the time? Rice, chicken, and rice. Okay, there you go. But you said the smell. Oh, the you think of, yeah, yeah. All I can think of is pork chops. Pork chops? We ate them up to death. I thought I wouldn't survive. You sure? Yes. They might have been cheap because I wouldn't have bought no pork chop because I don't eat pork. Yeah. Uh, I look horrible with no <laughs> my eyebrows. Where are they at? Um, yeah, I wanted to get her this book so she can like write. But this the only one that I see and it's all messed up. It's like bent all up. It's the only one over here. If we don't come on, because I swear if I don't go to TJ Maxx. Oh, you see it? What the? Would you write in it if I get this for you? No. Oh. What does it say? Naya, you like write it say my favorite childhood vacation was. She's not gonna do that. She has TikTok now. I know. I was tired too. I said I was tired. She's talking about I ain't walking enough for walking quick enough for TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx is right over there. A hop, skip, and a jump. I was like, what's today? Why is it so crowded? Today is Monday. But they just said probably spring break. Everybody and their mama here. Like, go home. <laughs> like, I live here now, so. <laughs> go home. All right, y'all. I got 15 minutes. I'm on a mission. So I'll, I'll pull y'all out later. Oh, they ain't got no wipes. Man, I gotta use my own. Y'all, look at this huge Steve Madden bag. I was watching somebody's vlog and they said, huh? Oh, no. And they were showing the different colors um, that they come in. But they only got this color at my at here at my TJ Maxx. So they do got a lot of Gucci in here. Because remember I was telling you about Lily. She was looking for Gucci. I don't know if it was Gucci inspired. What you showing me that for? I'm saying it's a makeup bag. <laughs> I, I didn't know if it was like the real Gucci was in here or if it was Gucci inspired. So obviously it's a real Gucci, but you see them earrings back there? Those are the earrings that matches the set, but I don't see the bracelet in here. So yeah, I got that right there. I got so many compliments on that, um, on this necklace when I was on the cruise. Oh, this is cute. Naya, look at this. This is cute. Um, I just purchased Naya the other day. I purchased Naya Hello Kitty but, um, mini suitcase like that. It's about that size. Purify my dreams as I cover my face so they can see your face in me. Father, teach me how to find in love with simple things. Surely I will give you glory for eternity. You are all I need. Once upon a time, the mustard tree was just a seed. Grow my faith, oh Lord, and show me what is heavenly. Jesus, you're the truth, it doesn't matter how I feel. Whoa, whoa. I don't wanna be, I don't wanna be far from you. You're the air I breathe, you're the air I breathe. Help me abide in you. So uncomfortable while I'm here in the dark I walk the narrow path for you But faith is just so hard Pride is still my poison But oh Lord, you know my heart Bring me 
Please ain't got no cost So help me use it as a weapon Against the fallen one Your grace is so much greater than All the sin I've done You so love the world That you gave your only son I don't wanna be I don't wanna be far From you Help me your body in 